Hello everyone, my name is Erica and I brought you another Kamishi Bai. Today the story I want to tell you is one called The Wife with an Unusual Talent. It is a traditional tale adapted for Kamishi Bai by Shozo Mizutani and illustrated by Katsuji Fujita. Um, I hope you enjoy it. Mukashi Mukashi. Once upon a time, long, long ago, in a certain village, there lived a charming young maiden. When she came of marrying age, she was promised to a man in another village. But one thing worried her mother very much. Once, every so often, her daughter was in the habit of making the most enormous fart. When you go to live with your new husband, oh, make sure you're careful about your your little problem. I get sick with worry thinking about it. Everything will be fine, mother. I will be sure to keep my little problem under control. So the daughter made a solemn promise to her mother, and she left home to be married. Her new husband was very pleased because he had married such a pretty and hard-working young maiden. Her mother-in-law was happy too. Oh, daughter-in-law, you're working so hard. Why don't you take a break? She would say, and she treated her with loving care. She was very kind. One day, however, the old woman noticed that her daughter-in-law looked a little pale. What's the matter, daughter-in-law? Aren't you feeling well? Don't worry, I'm fine. It doesn't look like you're fine. Tell me, what is it? What's troubling you? Her mother-in-law kept insisting. Finally, the daughter-in-law said, Well, until today, I've been doing my best to control myself, but I have to, I have to fart, and I can't hold it in much longer. <laughs> is that all? That's nothing to be embarrassed about. Your husband is leaving here today, and you're among family now. So just let yourself go. Go ahead. It's all right. Well, if you say so, but it could be dangerous, so hold on tightly to the front door. Well, the old woman couldn't believe it would be as bad as all that, but she hung on to the door just in case. Okay, I'm all set. Go to it. Okay, then, with your permission. The daughter-in-law was a bit restrained at first. But soon she couldn't, she could contain it no longer. She let herself go. <laughs> Foku gun! Oh, somebody help! The daughter in law's very powerful little problem blasted the old woman high in the sky. Ah! She went flying. Ah! And when she landed, she found herself far away in a carrot field at the foot of a mountain. Oh, 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 oh. But do you know what? It was the exact same carrot field that the husband just happened to be working in. And he couldn't believe his eyes. <gasps> what? My mother just fell out of the sky. What is going on? Oh, son. You'll never believe this. You, you, your wife let out a fart that blasted me all the way here. Oh, when the husband heard this, he was furious. We can't have someone like that living with us. It's dangerous. She has to go back and live with her parents. So the husband took his wife and left the house. 
she was going back to live with her parents. As they were going along, they came upon a group of children shouting to each other. You're such a bad shot. What were you even aiming at? Oh, you're so lousy. Oh no, you missed again. Oh, I can't do it either. It really is a pity this tree is too old for us to climb. The children were throwing stones up at an old tree full of ripe pears. After watching them for a while as they walked along the road, they stopped and the wife quietly offered. I could knock those pears down for you if you'd like. When the children heard this, they noisily gathered around her. Oh, yes, please, please. Okay. Now I want you all to step way back and then grab a hold of something and hang on as tightly as you can. The children called out, Okay, we're all set. Ready? Here goes. the remarkable scene before him and he exclaimed oh, this is truly a gift from heaven the Lord had been thirsty for some time and he was so overjoyed that he immediately asked someone to hand him a fruit he bit into one of the ripe juicy pears and mmm so delicious suddenly he stopped and asked the children but tell me, how did so many pears fall from this tree all at once? The husband and the wife held still and said nothing. But did the children keep quiet? Oh, no, no. They did what children often do. They pointed at the wife and they yelled out, She farted! Because that is what children do, isn't it? Well... When he heard what had happened, the Lord of the High Castle was very impressed. Ha ha ha! A pare, a pare! Splendid, splendid, very fine indeed. Such a magnificent talent should be celebrated, and I will give this young woman a reward. The wife was presented with a mountain of gifts. And now it was her husband's turn to apologize. Uh, your talent is a wonderful treasure after all. Would you please forgive me and come home with me again? Well, what do you think the wife should say? Well, in this old folk tale, of course she said she would forgive him. And so the husband and wife went back to their home and lived together with the mother-in-law happily ever after. And that is the end of the story, The Wife with an Unusual Talent. Oh, she my. the end of the story. Thank you so much for listening today. I'll see you another time. Bye-bye.